Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Komal Kavit Shekhawat and I hope you all are doing good and keeping safe. So in this video, I am going to discuss how you can arrange a time series data in Excel file and how you can import the same file in eViews for further statistical analysis. So let's get started. So first of all, you need to open your Microsoft Excel file and to arrange a time series data, you need to first mention the date or the time period in the very first column, okay? Since we know that time series analysis means how a variable changes over the time period, okay? So in the first column, you need to mention the date or the time period on year and afterwards, in the second column, you need to mention the name of the variable. So let's say I'm dealing with only three variables, which is M1, Treasury bill, and CP. Okay. So after the first column, in the second, third, and in the next columns, you need to mention the name of the variables, right? This means that the first row contains the name of the variables. In my case, these are date, M1, table, and CP. Okay. Suppose you want to add more variables, then you can enter the name of those variables in the next column. Suppose there is another variable that I want to add, which is M3. Right. So you can add the variable like this and uh, if you want to add another variable, suppose certificate of deposits. So likewise, you can add n number of variables that you want to deal with. Now, coming to the first column, since the first column deals with the time period and the important thing is how you are going to arrange your data. If you are dealing with a monthly data, then you need to specify the time period accordingly. Suppose the time period is from 1990 to 2011, right? So if you are dealing with a monthly data, then in that case, you need to mention 1990, then 01 is for the first month. And in the next row, this 1990, 02 for the second month. Likewise, 3 is for the third month. And similarly, you need to write down the same thing till 12th month for the same year. Okay. So, this entire data for these three variables is the data for the year 1990 from January to December. Okay. For the next year, you need to start afterwards, after the 1990 year. So, this is 1991. And similarly, you need to mention the data for the year 1991 from January to December. Okay, so this is the data for year 1991 for all the 12 months for the variables M1, T bill, and commercial papers, right? So you can enter the data for these variables or you can directly copy paste this data from the data source, okay? So this is how you can arrange your data in a time series manner for all the years, right? But that the most important thing is whether you are arranging the data annually, monthly or quarterly, okay? So this data was from 1990 to 2011, right? So as you can see, for the year 2011, in the similar fashion, the data for all these variables is arranged from January, that is the first month, to December. Okay. After you have arranged the data in this manner, you need to save your file and open eViews. So open your eViews and go to File, Open, Open Foreign Data as Work File. And then browse your file and click on open. So you will see this dialog box will appear and this shows time series estimation, right? Then you need to click on next. 
and here you can see uh, the type of the data. So you can select over here date or year because the data was dated and then click on next. Okay, here also the data type was dated and then click on next. Okay, uh, here you can see the basic structure of the data. So it was a dated data with specified by date series because the date series were also specified, right? And you can see here the frequency was monthly. The data was recorded monthly. So it is by default showing the frequencies monthly. It means the data or the structure of the data is correctly specified. And then you need to click on finish. As you can see, the range of the data is from 1990, month 1 to 2011, month 12, right? And there are total 264 observations in the data. And if you want to see this data, then you can select all your variables and open this as group. So you can see this is your data file in eViews, right? The date the series, everything is shown over here. Let's take another example wherein you want to arrange your time series data quarterly. So in that case, you just need to enter another column after the year wherein you need to mention the quarters. Suppose the quarterly data is arranged from 1990 to 2010. So for that, since we know that there are four quarters, so likewise, you need to mention year in the very first column. So as you can see, in the first row, I have arranged all the variables that is year, quarter, M1, T1, and C. And suppose the data has been obtained from the data sources and the data is quarterly. So for that, uh, first mention the years in the first column. So suppose we are starting with the year 1990. So 1990 and in the second column, mention the quarters. So it is quarter one, two, three, four. So till quarter four, you will be writing the same year. And afterwards, after 1990, the next year is 1991. So you need to mention 1991 for four times because corresponding there are four quarters, one, two, three, four, right? And likewise, in the next columns, you need to mention the data for those same variables uh, which you have obtained quarterly. So this M1 value is for the first quarter in 1990. This T value is for the first quarter in 1990. Likewise, for quarter two, the value of all these three variables was likewise. And for the third quarter, this is the value for all the three variables, right? And for the fourth quarter, the value for all these three variables was this, right? So this is how you can arrange your data quarterly. Now, if you want to import this file in eViews, you need to first open eViews. So this is your eViews file and go to file, open, open foreign data as work file and then browse your file and click on open. So this dialog box will appear and this shows predefined range. This is a time series estimation and then click on next. Okay, and the type of the data is year and click on next. And the data type is again dated. So you can select date and click on next. Okay, however, it is showing the basic structure is undated or unstructured because the years were not structured, dated. So here you can select dated or regular frequency. So it will show you other option where you can select the frequency and the frequency was quarterly. This data was quarterly. So you need to select over here quarterly and the start date. So the start date was 1990 year, okay? 
So as soon as you write over here 1990, you will see here, it will automatically take the quarters with each of the year. So you will see here 1990, Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4. Okay, I'll show you again. So data was quarterly, right? And it was dated from the year 1990. Okay, so as you can see here, once, as soon as you enter the start date, it will automatically arrange the data quarterly, right? And then click on finish. So this is how you can arrange your time series data in Excel file and you can import your data file in eViews. The most important thing that you need to take care of is that while selecting the option, you need to specifically select whether your data is quarterly, annually or monthly, right? So I hope you like the video. Please click on the subscribe button and keep following the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.